Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another review. And today it's going to be on the Mafex Medicom Toys Wonder Woman from, I believe, the Wonder Woman movie. I think so because I've heard that the Batman vs Superman Wonder Woman is trash. And I've been enjoying this one so far. I've been taking it like a real quick look at it, like moving its arms left and right. So let's get into it. So as you can see, I have some things on her, just so you can show up you guys up close of how it looks. Uh, all the, uh, and the accessories that she comes with. She comes with her sword. She comes with uh, her lasso of truth uh, rolled up and then stowed away. And then she has her Themyscarian shield. The detail looks actually looks pretty nice. It's pretty good. And then the hands that she currently has on are two gripping hands. And then aside from the gripping hands, she also comes with two or three other sets of hands. So in package, she comes with the fisted hands on her. She also comes with two uh, relaxed stylized posing hands. There are two fisted hands I was just talking about. And then she comes with two um, semi, like really small open grip hands. I'm assuming this is for the lasso to hold on to it. And then the uh, gripping hands that she has for the sword and the shield. And then she does have her lasso uh, rolled up. And then she also comes with a translucent lasso to mimic a glowing effect, which I think is actually pretty cool. And it's, um, it's not bendy wire but it is shaped so it can keep it shaped pretty well so if she's holding on to it and stretching out and catching a bad guy right there it'll hold the shape pretty well and then you know she can mimic a throwing motion because of how it's secured like that so i think it's pretty cool and then she also comes with an alternate head which i will probably put on later it is a little snarl face and then she comes with a neutral face the face is not that bad honestly um people say that it's hard uh i think i guess sh um mezco mafex and i think like beast kingdom they kind of have a hard time trying to get gal gadot's likeness but this one i think is pretty good like in camera and pictures don't do it justice she definitely looks a lot better in person the only thing i would probably uh change or fix is her skin tone her skin tone is probably way too light for the for Gal Gadot. and then she also comes with a mafex stand i'm not sure if these are all standard for mafex um this is actually i actually believe this is my actually no this is actually my second mafex so yeah i do believe mafex does come with stands my first mafex is the joker from the dark knight movie so yeah i, I uh, if mafex does come with stands uh, with every figure, please let me know because I am starting to get into the line. If you guys don't know, I got rid of all or almost all my Marvel Legends. The only ones I'm really keeping are the MCU ones and some that have sentimental value to me. So I got rid all got rid of all that, and I need to start focusing on the the lines that I really do like, like SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball and Mezco. And in terms of like, I guess like the quote unquote cheaper end is like mafex and just a whole bunch of like dc stuff like dc icons definitely not dc essentials though i heard that, that that line is currently trash right now so we'll see we'll see how it goes so in terms of scale she does stand right under six inches i know that it's not going to look like that on camera actually right there she might look six there so yeah um it's it's a little change of perspective when it comes to the ruler but yeah she does stand just under six inches and if you guys were wondering i got this guy the sh figure arts flash and the reason why i have this one and not the mafex one i'll do i do want the mafex one because of the alternate head but i got this guy at a um anime convention or like a yeah like a nerd convention in pasadena like a few months ago and I was able to pick him up for 40 bucks and he wasn't even released yet. So uh, it was, um, I guess the company had it early and he was, they were signed for 40 bucks. So I was like, yes, I got to pick him up. So now I have the flash and I have Wonder Woman. Now I need, and I actually currently have Superman on the way. So be on the lookout for that. I'll probably do a review on him. I need to get a Batman. Um, I know Aquaman is coming out. 
pretty soon, or at least the Mafex one. And then I don't I don't know if they introduced a cyborg one, but if they do, I'm definitely probably gonna want to get that so I can complete the Justice League um, team. I know right now Warner Brothers and DC or yeah, you guys you guys probably know. So we'll just stick to the figures and not talk about the the trash that is the DC extended universe. And I mean trash in a good way because I am a huge DC fan. I love DC actually more than Marvel. But I have to admit, when it comes to DC movies, the extended universe, probably Wonder Woman was probably like the only good one. And like the rest of them are, they're kind of trash. So I'm hoping Shazam and Aquaman, the solo film, will fix it. But who knows? We'll see. All right. So in terms of articulation, I'm not going to go too, too in depth just because I know I've seen people for her that her joints are kind of like sensitive and they will snap and break but as you can see she has shoulder articulation she has double jointed elbows she does have um swivel and a pivot on the wrist she has an ab crunch which is surprisingly pretty nice can go down that far can go back really well oops her lasso fell she has hip articulation so it swivels side to side and goes like a good i think i'm pretty sure it's on like a ball peg so you can get her in some pretty good pretty good poses so very happy with that and then she has uh pretty decent splits you know and then she has like the drop down method that a lot of figures do have so you can get some added articulation there push that back up she has double jointed knees and this is the one thing i don't really like on this figure is like i understand this like her knee guards for like that come attached with her boots like they they look good like this but like that it it does not look that great if they painted the the joint i think at least even the front side or even the front and the side gold it might have made it a little bit better because see when you're when she's standing straight you don't even really you can't really tell but like this it's kind of ugly that's probably like the one real major complaint i have but honestly it's not even that major of a complaint and then she has ankle articulation rock side to side and then pretty good hinging movement yeah so um i know she is kind of sensitive so that's from what i've heard and from what i've seen but mine it it's pretty good oh she also has a, a good amount of head articulation can look pretty well the only thing that's hindering her is her hair look down pretty well can uh, tilt side to side and then swivel pretty good so you can actually get her in some pretty decent poses so let me see if i can give you one real quick yeah so there you go nothing nothing too crazy just showing you guys some basic basic articulation with her and here you go is a close-up on her face uh, her alternate face and one thing I didn't know and I don't know if you were supposed to do this But I've kind of figured out and it, it's not even that really big of a deal But her bangs or like the size of her hair are actually pegged in I don't know if you can really tell I don't know if it was supposed to come off or not But I actually pulled mine out and it wasn't even that difficult at all So you can give her some uh, I guess a little bit better motion it actually doesn't look too bad like this When she's uh, when it's behind her shoulder because it looks like the wind is flowing in her hair it actually looks, doesn't look too bad, but you can just pop it back in and then right there, doesn't look any different. All right guys, so that's gonna do it. It's just gonna be a real quick review, real quick uh, unboxing. Well, not really unboxing because I didn't show you the box, but a real quick review and showcase on my latest figure, the Mafex Wonder Woman. I'm very glad to have her. She is definitely not the best, but she is far, far from the worst. So I am very, very glad to have her in my collection. Let me just put the flash right there right, real quick so you guys can see how they look together. Uh, very happy to have this, these two in the collection. Uh, stay tuned for the Superman that's coming on the way. Uh, thank you guys for all your support. And that's probably gonna be the end of the video. It's a short, simple, sweet review. Uh, if you guys like what I'm doing, please consider liking the video. Please consider subscribing. Please follow me on this awesome, awesome journey that we call action figure and action figure photography. Um, subscribe to my YouTube, follow me on Instagram, uh, follow the crew, Fig Mob. We are a 
SoCal, like mainly like LA-ish area, like LA Orange County-ish area of just honestly figure collectors and figure lovers. So if you guys want to follow us too, that'd be awesome. So, you know, real quick, simple, sweet, short review. And that's probably going to be it, guys. Thank you guys very much for all your support. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.